How's it going guys? Randall here on the Trestles Collectibles channel and I'm here today with... Uh, my name is Jeffrey. I'm a good friend of Randall's and Mike here on Trestles Collectibles and I'm glad to be here again. Alright, and today we're going to be playing a game between the new cards from Sword Art Online Alicization Volume 2. Why don't you go ahead and tell people about the deck you're going to be playing. Right, so as you can see here, uh, instead of playing two combos like many other decks, um, what we're trying to do is accomplish uh, three different Climax combos. Um, our level 1 combo here, the Kurito. Uh, the level 2 Kurito combo, uh, which will help us find uh, all of the resources we need to pull off our level 3 Kurito, uh, which, uh, uh, which is our very explosive finisher and very different from the Shinon finisher we played uh, early on. Yeah, so if you guys haven't checked it out already, be sure to check out the other gameplay video where we run a similar iteration of this deck, but instead of the level 3 Kirito, we play the new level 3 Shinon from Alcization Volume 2. And I'm going to be playing a the Kaguya build, pretty much the standard build that you guys have seen on the channel before with the standby level 1 Kaguya into the level 3 gate Kaguya combo. So let's get right into it. Alright, sounds good. Do you have anything in particular you're going to be looking out for in this matchup? Uh, I'm going to pray that you don't draw the K clean cut runner because um, uh, Sal's level 0 is very weak against it. So if you do see it, uh, it's going to be an uphill battle from there. And I'm also hoping that you don't hit too many standbys because my deck does rely on reverses to generate enough resources to pull off the level 2 Kurito and get my level 3 Kurito reverse as well. All right. That's a backup plan. You do still have the War of Underworld event as a backup plan in case you can't get that, that reversal is free. So. Having multiple game plans for the finisher always good. Yep. All right. Rock and scissors. All right. I'll be going first, and let's get started. <coughs> okay. Um, for the mulligan, I am going to be getting rid of three cards. So three. Uh, for my mulligan, I will be discarding three. Okay. Let's see what we can get here. Alright, let's begin. I'll All go right. first, draw for turn. And I'm gonna go ahead and clock... Uh, I need to clock the level three Kaguya first, so we can get the experience out of the way. Draw two, and I'm gonna open up with the K runner. No, <laughs> not like those. Yeah, so uh, has the clean cut effect, and then also mill runner at the start of Jeffrey's attack phase. So I'm gonna go ahead and direct for three. All right, uh, one, two, three, and I will take it. And over to you. All right, draw for turn, and I will. I am also an experienced deck, so I will clock the Perito for my experience requirement. Draw two. All right, so I got a lot of plays, and I think I will go ahead and try lane. Whoa! And in case you do, Mr. Mill, maybe I can reverse your K. Uh, I would like to declare attack phase. Okay, so currently the Kirito is what, 2500, right? Correct. Uh, he is 2500, and he gets a level as long as my board is all flip like tree. So pretty much always. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and use K's Mill Runner effect. We mill, and it is a hit. So these are both plusing cards, right? Uh, this will plus, and this. So on reverse, um, pay one, send her to clock when she is reversed to look at five and add a plus like character to hand. And while Yu-Gi-Oh is not a plusing card, but however, um, when he is reversed, I can put a card from hand to clock and send him to memory to search for a plus like character. So either way, I'm doing something advantageous when they are reversed. Okay, but they're both lower than 2k, so uh, we're, just gonna, we're just gonna have k run to one of these lanes. Unlucky. Uh, I will go ahead and direct here first for three. Okay, one, cancel on one. Okay, I will direct here for three, pants, uh, no pants trigger. Okay, for one, two, three, take the three. Okay, and I will go ahead and side, side for two. Okay, one, cancel. All right, pass turn. Okay. So stand and draw, and I'm going to clock, uh, I'm going to go ahead and clock a gate, draw two. Hmm. All right, so 
I can't attack three times, which uh, is that's unfortunate. That's what I like to hear. And actually, I have to side one. <laughs> <laughs> because the only zeros I have are two Ks. Yeah, that's still pretty good. Yeah. But I but I can't front with the first one because otherwise her mandatory effect will oh. force me to, <laughs> to move the other one to the back row. So a uh, little bit of a sticky situation, but I, th I think uh, we should be able to play through this... Uh, and end up in not too bad of a place, so uh, we're just gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna let you keep the administrator. All so right. I'm gonna go to attack phase and I'm going to side with the first K. And that's gonna be for one. Uh, one will stick. Okay, and then we'll front with the second K mm -hmm. for one. Uh, one cancel. Okay. okay. So I use my effect first. I move the K to the back row. And then on reverse, I will use Karit or Yujiyo's effect to put a card from hand to clock, put it onto memory to search my deck for a flux light. And I think, um, hmm, options, options. I think I will go ahead to pay out that climax. I will get this Leafa. Sounds good. All right, here you go. Okay. All right, stand and draw. I will go ahead and clock uh, level first. And draw two. Hmm, and then first effect. First, I will play this Leafa, which come and play gives all your characters in the front row minus 500 power. Mm -hmm. So now K is 1500, and I will go ahead and use Leafa's effect to build through this deck. Ooh, that's a lot of climax. Okay. But uh, good thing uh, this Kurito helps me mill. So I'll go ahead and grab this card. Mm -hmm. And then I will go ahead and pay one with this Asuna Bonder to my climax combo which I have had sitting in my waiting room since turn one. So I'll go ahead and grab it. Mm -hmm. And then I think I'll go ahead, move the administrator to the back. And then okay. try Hill Kurito, because um, okay. I need to get through this deck after seeing uh, those two climaxes. I will go ahead and declare attack. All right, I'm gonna use the first case effect, mill. And then I'm gonna use the second one as well. Okay. Probably Ooh, that's what I like to see. Uh, I will go ahead and direct. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh, I will grab a climax. Sure. Uh, swinging for three. One, two, cancel. Oh, still cancel. Uh oh. Direct for three <laughs> or two. two. One, two, level up. And we are gonna get our level one red experience. Okay. okay, and then I will front, front for one. Oh, I guess two to the events are going to stalk. Okay, over to me. Uh, how many cards do you have in your hand? Uh, I currently have five. Okay, all right, draw for turn. All right, so I need to start thinking about what the next color I want in my level is. And I do want to be hitting experience uh, for the level three Miyuki, because he can be early played. I am going to go ahead and clock the Miyuki himself, draw two. All right, we got a lot of good cards in our hand now. So let's see what we can do with these. Um, for sure, I'm gonna be playing two copies of the Kaguya combo. And then, let's see, we're out five already. Hmm. I think what we're going to go with here is I do want to get through the deck a bit since I am out quite a lot of climaxes. With the combos it will help me get through another several cards. So I think what we're going to go with is I'm going to play the 1-1 one, one Kaguya. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, level assist and then I'm going to use her resonance ability, pay 1. Reveal the eye, mm -hmm. and then look at up to three from the top of my deck. 
and add a shooting character from among them to my hand. And the level one Kaguya fits the bill just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and take a combo. Let's see, so we're looking at, so if I play this, we're looking at ending the turn with quite a bit of hand. I think I'm okay with playing the eye and using the drop search effect here. So I'll pay one and I'll discard this gate and I'll search. And with it, I'm going to grab, I'm gonna grab the 3-2-K early play. All right, sounds good to me. Setting up for later in the game. Okay, cut. All right, will do. Okay, and then next going to climax phase, I'm going to play the standby climax. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna activate Eyes Effect first. When I play a Climax, I can bounce her back to my hand, give 2k anywhere, I'll give 2k here. And then I'll use the Standby Effect itself to bring out the 2-2-U, our big hand on core. Okay, so now going to attack phase. Uh, you have nothing on your end, so we're just gonna go ahead yep. and get started. On attack, Kagi's Climax combo. I can look at the top card of my deck and then marker it. And then on reverse, she gets to use that marker to search. But first, we have to do a trigger and do damage. So this is for two. One, two, the two sticks. Okay, so my ability activates first since it's my turn. So I send the marker to waiting room and then I search. And with that, I'm going to grab the level zero spammable brainstorm. Okay, cut. All this. right, I will go ahead and cut. And then your character now gets to use his ability. Correct. Since he is reversed, I will go ahead and look at three. Uh-oh. More climaxes. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, I will go ahead and prepare for my level two combo. So I'll grab the level two Kurito and go ahead and discard this level three Kurito. Okay. Now going in with the second copy on attack, I will top check marker. And this is going to be four, one. All right. The one will stick. Okay, so my ability activates first again, sending this to waiting room, searching for the 3-2 Shirogane. And then go ahead. All right, I'll go ahead and cut again. And then, and then your turn I will go for your ability. use my effect. Two, three. Oh, I guess I'll grab another level two. Okay. And I think I will go ahead and Pitch this climax here, my level one climax combo. Right. And then last copy on attack, top check, marker. And this is going to be four, one. Oh, I canceled. Okay, so my effect, unfortunately, this is my last climax. Oh. <laughs> uh, with that, I am going to pick up the free fresh counter. All right, sounds good. Uh, before I go ahead and use my effect, I'm gonna double check and help me see how many climaxes I'm out. I'm out and I see I am out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I will go ahead and use Kurito's effect to look at. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have used Kurito's effect. I would have drawn into the event. <laughs> <laughs> so I will go ahead and grab the Kurito and pitch his friend Yujiro here at this two hand. And with that, it is now my turn. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm out, I'm out all eight. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Uh, oh, I don't know what to clock here. Let's see. Six. Oh, I, have to, I also have to discard one. I have two oh. hands. So I'm going to discard a two to you. Okay. Um, I think I will discard one of the level two Kuritos that you saw me add mm -hmm. to draw two. Hmm. So this always happens where I play two of these Kuritos. And then I think I will go ahead and move up this Asana up. Sure. Can I check the waiting room? Yeah, go for it. Okay. 
you, you can go ahead then. Okay, and then I'll also go ahead and play this Yujiro Pass Support in the back. Okay, wait, so this is the level one combo, Yes, right? correct. Okay. All right. And then I will go ahead and play the Pass. All right, sounds good. So these guys are going to be... Uh, five five plus the climax plus also Asuna gives it correct. Back, right? So these two will be uh, seventy five hundred. All right, sounds good. Uh, actually, I should do it like this if you don't mind. Sure. Okay. Uh, so I will go ahead and front uh, using Asuna's effect. I will look at the top card of my deck. Uh, I will keep it there and I will go ahead and salvage. So uh, I so I assume. Putting them on the sides is because I have the level uh, assist, correct. right? Correct. Because yeah. uh, who knows if the extra 500 power will matter. So I went ahead to add the awesome love bonder. Mm -hmm. So I will front here for two. All right. One, two. Thank you for not triggering. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to make sure I get a good refresh as well. So front, I will use awesome as effect. I'll keep it there. I will go ahead and salvage. Another copy of the Asuna Bond. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're, we're just uh, gonna do this level one loop here, and then I will not trigger, but with the climax, I will be doing two damage. Okay, two more damage. Sticks. And uh, so going back with all eight, you have six in wait. Hmm. Six? Correct. Okay, how many cards in hand? Uh, currently five. All right. Alright, refresh points. Alright, here you go. And we are going to be leveling our 3 2 Shirogane. And I will go ahead and side here with the Asuna. Side for just one. Okay, take the one. Alright, pass turn. Okay. So you have seven out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So draw for turn. Um. I do want to think about if I want to clock here. Uh, what does clocking do for me here? It lets me potentially... No, because I'm probably going to discard with this anyway, so... Well, it does give you more hand to use um, the K you grab to uh, fulfill her cost. Right. Hmm. I think if I... Okay, the problem is I don't have any card that I think is really good for clocking here. So... I think what I'm actually going to do is not clock and just not have a full board. Maybe I'll trigger standby and it'll allow me to fill the last slot oh. on the board. But what I'm going to do first is uh, with two or less mm -hmm. climaxes in my waiting room, I'm going to early summon... Okay, pay two, and then on play, I discard a card. I'm going to discard the uh, Chica 2-2 two, two, and heal the stock. And then, uh, let's see. So these are these are just 4-5 on defense, right? Uh, correct. I only get power on my turn, so they are only 4,500. Got it. All right, I think I'm going to just see if the 1K, or uh, not the 1K, the 5K is enough to get the job done. <laughs> And then uh, we will... So there is consideration to also play the Brainstorm to tap for like 1k pump, but I don't think it actually changes anything. If you have a counter, it's probably going to kill this, whether it's 5k or 6k. And then if I trigger a standby, it's going to feel bad having to play over this. So I think we're just going to hold this in hand. And we're just going to stick with this setup, I think. All right, so I'm going to go to attack phase. All right. And first up, we're going to attack with the K, and this is going to be for two. All right, for one. Uh, need a refresh. All right, here you go. Okay. For two. Yep. Uh, the two sticks for me. Yeah, grab this card, and then refresh. And I will go ahead and level Yu-Gi-Oh! So I have experience 6, so I can go ahead and get power with my low Dree Kurito combo. Okay. Um, this is reversed. Let's see. Next, I think I'll swing with the Kaguya level 1. And we're going in for 1 here. 
All right, unfortunately for me, 5,000 is bigger than 4,500. <laughs> Quick maps. And, oh, no, oh no! I guess I'm not using the event this game. All right, and then we're going to attack with the U for three. Uh oh. One, two, three. And three does stick. All right, good damage going in. All right, and that goes to my turn. Yeah. So I will draw for turn. Unfortunately, did not trigger a standby, so we're sitting at just 10k in the middle. But uh, 10k is a pretty good number. I think I will go ahead and clock this Alice here. This probably would have been helpful once I hit level 3, but I'm not in a state to consider that far in the game. So I will clock this and draw 2. Hmm. And, uh, and since I have zero climaxes in waiting room, I will go ahead and play my early play, this Yu-Gi-Oh, mm -hmm. right here, uh, pay two. And then he's also a healer. And he gets 500 for every other character on board. So... It's during your turn, right? Uh, correct. Okay. But unfortunately, <laughs> because you have the K or... The low assist Kaguya in the back row, I am unfortunately too small to contest. So I will go ahead and summon this Asuna and I will use Asuna's effect to grab the Kurito mm -hmm. that I knew was in stock. Uh, and then just move some cards around. Sounds good. And I think I will actually... I'd rather have the Asuna in the back row because her effect to give the Kurito the ability to uh, scry and power is always great to have. And I think I will go ahead and go to an attack step. So I will front with Yu-Gi-Oh at 1100 power for, for pants. Uh-oh. Uh, and unfortunately, it's zero <laughs> climax Okay. So fronting for three. Okay. For one, two, Three, three sticks. All right, at least the damage stuck. One reverse. Yeah, I stick a three, you stick a three, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all balance. Uh, I will go ahead and front here with the administrators. Uh oh. More <laughs> climax. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, right. Front for two. It's fine. As long. Oh, I was going to say, as long as the damage sticks, but <laughs> I don't think. I don't think I'm in a good situation. Mm. Um, I will not choose Administrator's Effect. Um, being at level 2 and um, taking more damage is a little concerning, so I will choose to not use her effect. And I will front with Kurito, but I will use Asuna's effect. When Kurito attacks, look at the top card. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Is, uh, is, it, is it what I think it is? It is a soul trigger. Oh, okay. I, I will go ahead and trigger it. said soul trigger. Oh, okay. <laughs> four, four, two. Okay, cancel. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, during the encore step, yep. I am going to go ahead and encore by discarding the Shiogane level one. So this is going to stay right here. Kagi's going to go to waiting room. And administrator will also be heading to the waiting room. Okay. And then over to me. Let's draw for a turn. Huh. It's quite an interesting card to draw. Uh, I would appreciate it if you um, play a stock swap. Uh, <laughs> Look how much stock I have. Uh, I don't know yeah. about that one, Chief. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you have like more climaxes in there than non-climaxes <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay, so for our clock, hmm, how good is it to have two of this in my hand? Uh, yeah, honestly, I think I'm going to keep both of them in my hand, and then instead of clocking, I'm going to use the Kaguya's effect to get my pluses. Sounds so we'll good. Uh, don't forget to resonate. Yep, and reveal. Thank you. And then look at up to three. One, okay. Oh. Two, three. So we do have the option to grab a level three Kaguya right now, but I think... More important is grabbing the Climax Swapper. Potentially set up for level three, being able to grab the Climax for the finish. And then as far as what I can do with the other lanes, well, these just beat those. Yeah, unfortunately, I only get power during my turn. So Randall will be able to reverse my cards. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to play the Brainstorm. We're just going to use her as an attacker, and then maybe 
Maybe this time I'll hit a standby and then we can maybe standby out the level three Kaguya. Mm. That's probably the best option here. Maybe you can also trigger three climax, <laughs> you know? <laughs> or we could not. Okay. But imagine you're bored. Okay, so everything is swinging for twos. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and go with the K first. She's swinging at 11.5 to your 9K. Yep, just 9K. And this is going to be for... Well, there's, uh -oh. the, there's the first <laughs> all right, one. All right, that's one of three standby climaxes, right? That you, you will trigger this yeah. turn. So I'm gonna standby out the Kaguya to the back row and this is for three. I will unfortunately take the three and I will go ahead and put this uh, Alice into bubble because I still do need yellow to play okay. any potential yellow cards. That is your stock swap though, right? Yeah, so um, build, build your stock. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Maybe I can build stock and not get punished by stock swap unless you run two. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and direct here. Honestly, in retrospect, I think probably directing here would have been the better play because then if I tri if I do trigger more standby, oh. we stand by right here. The but it's fine. Standby? I just won't trigger second. standby. Oh, oh! <laughs> two for two. <laughs> All right, there's actually nothing better to do here. All right, so uh, this is just gonna be for three. You, you can stand by over your level zero Kaguya. Uh, no, you're just gonna eat three. Uh, all right, all right. Go ahead. Oh, uh, unfortunately for you, I cancel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we'll go in with the last attack. There's no way I Oh, trick. three for three. There's no way, right? Okay. Ah. For two. Game is not balanced, and I will take the two. <laughs> All right. And then it will head over to my turn. Yeah. All right, so I will draw. So I'm out three in waiting room and two here. That's what I like to hear. So I will go ahead and cloth to draw two. You say that, but 3 and 10 is not bad. Oh, that's true, but I, I do have some pretty good cards that I just drew. But, okay. But first, we need to make sure that we have the level 3 pants in here. And wait, I only have one climaxes in here. Hmm. I mean, it's got to be here, right? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> well, one, of the, one of those had to be level 3 climax, right? All right, all right, all right. All right. We, 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 we got... We got a plan, so we will go ahead and play one of the Kuritos. Oh, there it is. There's one of them, and we will go ahead and use this effect to draw two. Oh, that's pretty good. And we will go ahead and take a look real quick. discard one. And we will go ahead and use finish his ability to marker to Yu-Gi-Oh. Hmm. So the Yu-Gi-Oh being the marker is what lets him get the second half of the finish, Correct. right? Okay. And then I will go ahead and... Actually, let me just verify my waiting room real quick. Mm -hmm. This kind of hurts to do this, but I will use Yu-Gi-Oh's effect. To pay two mm -hmm. to discard a fluctuate traded character to grab this level three Alice back row support, but unfortunately, because I only play one copy of this card, <laughs> I do not get to add a second card with the UGO effect. Oh, because he adds two characters with the same name, yeah. right? <laughs> so, so it kind of feels bad when you're grabbing a one of tech card, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to. <laughs> <laughs> to get your reverses. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I will go ahead and play another copy of the Kurito. Mm -hmm. So I will go ahead and draw two. Uh, shuffle. So how many are you going back? Uh, I am... Uh, actually, let's double check. One, two, three, four, five. Five? Five? Three. <laughs> <laughs> four. But, oh, okay, I miscounted. It was the last card. Okay, so six? Six. Okay. Well, at the very least, I paid out all the climaxes in my stock. Mm. But unfortunately, this character is not going to get a marker because of that, right? Oh, wait, oh, you can discard oh, one! Oh, oh you, <laughs> discard you, have to, one. you have to finish the effect. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and discard one. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise for Yu-Gi-Oh! And then I will go ahead and refresh. Oh, wait, I miscounted how much stock I had. Oh, oh, mm. <laughs> oh uh, well, you, you'll be kind enough to uh, get a reverse, right? Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, you, you'll clearly not use your refresh counter that you added to hand, right? Of course not. Clearly. So I will <laughs> go ahead and use the combo. Okay, so these are at 12k? Uh, yes, correct. They are both 12k. Okay. Uh, so you are how many climaxes out? Five? So three here, and then I trigger two. Right. And then you have 10 cards in deck, I think you said? Yep. Alright, so I think I will go ahead and swing here first. Front? For more climaxes. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh man. Oh the, I think my. I triggered more climaxes than normal cards by this point. So I will be fronting for four. Okay. By any chance if you wanna if you if you if you have if you had six in here, maybe that means there's one in your hand. I forget if there's a climax or not, but Oh you're right. I you could, could use potentially the hand use this ability, right? Yeah, so I will reveal I did <laughs> roll into a climax. <laughs> and then I will use Yu-Gi-Oh's effect to look at two. Uh, I will add one to hand and discard the other to waiting room. Okay, so this is for four. You're Correct. at 12k. Yep. I'm at 11k. We're going to go ahead and use our counter. I'm not going to use the free fresh effect. And this is going to be for four? Four. Correct. Okay, cancel. Unlucky. Rubber ducky. Alright, so I will go ahead and front here. Four. Three this time. Okay, unfortunately, no refresh. I'm gonna be like, do you is, have a second counter? <laughs> there's no, there's no counter big enough to save this Kaguya. So this is gonna be for three. Correct. One, two, three. Cancel. Oh no! And then, uh, on reverse with the combo, uh, burn one. Okay, so the burn, the first burn one's free. Yeah, and then the burn three is, um, I may pay cost now, so you cancel twice. Oh, this is. Most likely going to get cancelled, but I feel like I'm in a position where I have to push for damage to at least catch up. So I will go ahead and pay two, discard two to burn three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that, I was ready <laughs> for my level two combo. But you got but, blasted. Yeah. Okay, so this is burn three? For three, correct. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, Take. it stuck. And with this, I think... I think we'll just go ahead and level K runner. Okay. And then I will finally go ahead and front for two. Two cards in deck. No, oh. it's on the bottom. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this actually might be better for me because this means that I could use that climax swapper. Oh, that yeah. I picked up to potentially swap for that climax. Oh, yeah. I'm just hoping um, you do not draw a climax to grab your cli well to use your climax swapper with. We are about to find out. So I go back with five, five climaxes back. All right, here you go. Okay, refresh point. Okay, and it is your turn. All right, stand and draw. All right, I drew a climax. <laughs> no. Oh no. <laughs> so. Um... All right, it's fine. Uh, I have so many empty lanes that I will just cancel everything with your big numbers. Well, you're at 3-4. I don't really need to do a lot, a whole <laughs> lot of damage. I actually think it might be better to just throw a bunch of one soul attackers into my front row to try to uh, deal precise damage in combination with Kaguya's burns. So first things first, we do have to play our Climax Swapper. So we'll... Yep. Pay one, discard the climax to get the correct climax. Mm -hmm. And then I can activate her other effect, top check to rearrange. Okay, let's see here. Oh. Well, I'm hoping those are uh, more climaxes, mm -hmm. so I'll have a chance on my turn. I'm wondering if it's even correct to play the climax here, actually. Hmm. So. Well, Kaguya is on attack burn one. Yeah. And then if you do yeah. reverse the level three Kirito on board, as it is another burn one with her resonance effect. Yeah. The climax just with all these open lanes, though, the burn seems kind of unnecessary almost. I guess it does push you into a state where you wouldn't be able to clock for more cards in case you do live to next turn. 
Well, you do have another Kaguya in hand, right? So yeah. that is at least two burn ones. So that at least does prevent me from clocking. Right. Okay, you know what? Okay, this is this might be this might be pretty sus. But I think I'm gonna go with this line. Well, I don't think anything more sus than me grabbing the Alice. So if I pay one, that works, right? Yeah, I have enough stock for that. Okay, all right. This is gonna look this this might look a little bit sus, but uh, so I'm gonna play over with a Kaguya. Yep. And that's gonna allow us to heal one. And then I'm. Hmm. I don't have enough stock if I do that though, I think. There's not enough stock or not enough hand. Yeah, either I don't, either I'm short one stock or I'm short one hand. So I th think this just has to be what we go with. So we'll. Hmm. Yeah, I think this might just be it. Oh, that lo does look good to me. That is um, directing for three attack or three damage with your 1 1 Kaguya with the gate climax. And you are doing a, most likely three burn ones. All right, we're going to do this. Oh. And I'm actually not going to play climax. Oh, okay. All right. So let's start with a direct for four. One, two, three. And it didn't matter. Okay, he actually just, <laughs> I just actually just died. <laughs> unfortunate. So uh, unfortunately did not get to see the power of the underworld event because you weren't able to. Yeah, they just went to stock it. and... Or clock, which was very unfortunate, but that is one of the downsides of this deck. You are relying on a Lomo Dree event that is unsearchable, and you have to draw, literally draw into it. So, unfortunately, I was not able to pull off a comeback. Yeah. And there was also the miscounting the amount of stock. <laughs> this, this game kind of showed off one of the big weaknesses of, of this deck, I feel, which is that you really need the level 2 game to be stable so that you can get off those level 2 Kirito combos, because that really just builds up so much resources for your endgame, right? Yeah, and then there was uh, the the turn that you only had two Cade Runners on board. The fact that you sided against the Administrator, it actually went all downhill for me. Because you would think that uh, only reversing uh, one character on my board is good for me, but in reality, it was really bad because uh, I wasn't able to field my waiting room with a bunch of... Um, cards to grab with the level 1 Kirito, or even see the Kirito, they were unfortunately more towards the bottom of the deck, mm -hmm. and I just felt like I was struggling from there. Okay, well, that's it for today's game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Randall on the Trusted Collectibles channel, and uh, this is Jeffrey, a friend of Randall's and Mike, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!